Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just going to look at some new satellite settings that you can put on your Phoenix 7 Series watch or Garmin Epix 2 watch that we've got in front of us now on this video. So the latest software currently for these watches in November 2022 is software version 9.37. With the last software updates, we now have a new setting within the satellite settings called Auto Select. So we thought it would be a good time just to run through each of the satellite options that you've got within your watch to how your watch is going to pick up the satellites for track recording, navigation and obviously this will have an effect on your battery life as well. So the first thing I'm going to do on the Epix 2 watch I've got here and it's the same on a Phoenix 7 watch as well I'm going to use the middle left hand button, hold it in just for a couple of seconds to take me to settings. I'm then just going to use the middle button again which is the up button press it once and I can see system on the screen so I'm going to go into system settings so I'm going to press the OK top right hand button to go into system settings and then using the down button I'm just going to look for the option satellites so it's telling me at the minute the default setting I've got for this watch is all systems so I'm just going to run through what the different options are just to give you an idea so the very first choice we've got is GPS only, which is the American Global Positioning System. That will give you increased battery life, but you are only picking up one set of satellites. So potentially in a more challenging environment, might not be as accurate as some of the other options. The next one down we've got is All Systems, which is a balanced performance regarding battery. The All Systems will allow multiple satellite systems together. It will increase performance in challenging environments and potentially a faster satellite fix, but it can reduce your battery life more than GPS only. So what All Systems will do, it will look for repairing of satellites. So an example would be it will either lock on to GPS and GLONASS, which is the American Global Positioning System and GLONASS the Russian, or GPS and Galileo, which is Galileo being the European system. So it will chop between the two depending on which it finds is the best pairing depending on the environment you're in. The next one down is All Plus Multiband. So again, this is the next one down that's going to use more battery again, but this is increased accuracy. Potentially, this is the one that's going to be the most accurate but use the most battery. So All Plus Multiband, very like the old systems, it's locking onto multiple satellite systems, but it's also locking onto multiple frequency bands as well. With the multiple frequency bands, this allows for potentially a more consistent track log, improved positioning, especially when you're in more challenging environments and you're less likely to have atmospheric errors with the All Plus Multiband. But this is the one that's going to use the most battery. I'm just going to skip over the auto select because this is the new one that's been added and I'm just going to explain what the ultra track one is and then we'll go back to so I'm just going to come out of that let's come up on the watch there sorry so ultra track is going to give you the best battery life but with ultra track it's recording in much less frequently so ultra track um, it's really for activities that you're going out for days and days you're worrying about your battery life potentially for something maybe like walking or hiking because it will only record the track point every minute so it's not recording very frequent so you're not going to get that precise breadcrumb trail that you're used to so it's really if you're struggling with battery life you haven't brought a battery pack with you and you're really wanting to extend your battery potentially you may use the ultra track but it is only going to record once a minute whereas the other settings you'll find a recording you know you know literally in seconds as you go so i'm just going to go to this new one called auto select so the auto selects really clever it's a new feature using sat iq technology that garmin have added so if you have auto select selected it will look for the very best multiband system based on your environment so if you're in a really challenging environment it'll turn on all the satellites all plus multiband if suddenly your environment's better you've got a really clear view of the sky you haven't got cliffs to the side of your buildings tree canopy etc it will then drop to one of the lower settings to really help with your battery life so it's always switching to work out dynamically which is the best setting to use so this is the new feature called auto select so i hope you found this video useful where we just had a quick look at all the various settings that you've got in the system settings and satellite so gps only of course best battery life but you're only picking up one set of one set of satellites we've got the old systems where it'll lock onto a pair so it's either going to be the gps and galileo 
or the GPS and GLONASS. The All Plus Multiband is the one that's locking onto all of the satellites available, including the multiple frequency bands. So for the more challenging environments, but will potentially use more battery. We've talked about the Ultra Track where it only records every minute, but the Auto Select is the new feature. So if I was to select now, Auto Select by pressing the OK button, that is the default setting for satellites now. And Auto Select using the new SatIQ technology will dynamically select the best multiband system based on the environment that you're in. So I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.